Hi, this is Jadi, and I'm going to start a new series. At the moment, I'm calling it Learn to Attack. The story is, I was playing around with some challenges on cryptography, not cryptocurrency, and resolving some problems just for fun. Then moved to another series of challenges, which is called Notus and thought with me okay i'm doing this so let's record this with some more explanation some people may use it in their advance and learn how to attack as i told you i was using the natas project not this natas natas security we can search for natas security it's a series of challenges it starts from a very beginner level and goes deeper and deeper it's in total 34 levels. On each level, you have to find the password from the site you are provided for the next level. So on Natas0, this is the address. The username and password is Natas0, Natas0. When you open this, when you log in with these credentials, you have to try to find the password for Natas1. Then go to Natas1 and go step by step. And it goes deeper and deeper in different aspects. I was just playing around with it, resolved five, and then thought it's good to record. In one place, I needed to install the Kali Linux. Kali Linux. I'm sure if you are here, you are a hacker, and you know about the Kali Linux. It's a penetration test and ethical hacking oriented Linux. Normally, you don't install it as your main system. Logically, most people install Kali Linux inside a virtual machine, or if they are a real hacker doing it every day with better stuff, they have a laptop dedicated for Kali Linux or other penetration test, uh, testing Linuxes. Uh, as most Linuxes, it comes in two flavors, 64-bit and 32-bit. 64-bit is what most of us use on our recent laptops, which might 10 years old still runs on the 40 64 uh, bits then on each bit for example on 64 we have three different versions installer which you can install as a full system and use it whenever you want live which boots up as a live system and net installer which is used just as a very small net installer system and then you have to install other stuff i suggest working with installer and installing it in a virtual box i have i've already downloaded it it's the iso file or you can get it from the torrent to install it i suggest the virtual box it lets you to have a window one software running in your own os which acts like a separate pc and you can install os there install your software whatever you want to do. So you can go to the virtual box, downloads and install the virtual box for your own operating system. You can run it on Windows, on OS 10 or OS 11 and Linux and Solaris. This is, big, this is the reason is the Oracle has bought both virtual box and Solaris. So you still are able to install it on the Solaris. I, I downloaded the OS, the Linux version, installed it, so I have the virtual box. In this first session, I'm going to just prepare our environment. So I want to create a new machine. I will say new. Here I will go with the name, which is called Hot Singles. This is a general joke in the security because there are always links telling you that the hot singles are looking for you. Hot single, it's oxymoron. Looking for you is the most strange thing, or for me. Okay, I will make, I will create my machines on my USB disk so I can move them between operating systems. I can just connect this to my other machine. Okay, uh, type is a Linux. Version is 64 bits Linux. Next. How much RAM? I will give it four gigabytes. You can give it two gigabytes, whatever you want. You have to create a new 
disk image for it. So I will go with create VDI. As you can see, most of the things are just default. Dynamic, what's the disk space? I will say 33 gigabytes. The dynamic I just select means that it doesn't create a 33 gigabyte file. Dynamically, it will increase when it's needed. So create and it's ready. I will run this machine. It will tell me, okay, this is a new machine, no operating system running. So please insert a new DVD disk, ISO file or whatever. I will say, okay, add this ISO file. This is like just inserting this ISO file into the virtual CD drive. I will say choose and we will start. What I'm doing now is just starting my machine with that ISO image. Graphical install. People may say they are huge, they're great hackers just because they are using Kali. In reality, nobody should run Kali as their main Linux. You just install it in a virtual machine or in a separated machine. And it's very easy to install, just next, next, next. From view on the virtual machine, I will say scale mode. So it will scale the graphics to the window size. Mm -hmm. Okay. I will go with English, United States, American English. Then it will look for a uh, hard drives. It's in a virtual machine. Remember, this window is a separated computer. I just defined a hard disk for it. So it's not seeing your real hard disk. This machine's hard disk is a file on your hard disk, on your operating system, the place I just choose. So you don't need to worry about formatting your hard disk by mistake. It will detect network, detect hardware. We will let it do whatever it wants. It will connect to the network. Okay, name of the machine, I will use same Kali. It's logical not to use your own name, very indicator name, because you may, I don't know, you should not attack anywhere with this machine unless you have uh, are authorized to, but it's still good not to put your own name here. So full name of the user is the user, and this is the user. Your password is one to three. It's better not to say Jody living in this address. Continue. I set a very simple password. The reason is this is a machine inside my machine and I won't keep anything important inside this Kali Linux. So one to three is easier. You can set a difficult password. Setting up the clock. As you see, normally you just go next, 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 next. From a network time server, so the times are synchronized. Okay, what's your time? Eastern time. Detecting disks, where to install. Still the ISO is just starting up the system. So it will say how to partition. I will say default. Default, use all partition use all the disk as one partition and put everything in one place good choice for a virtual machine finish this is the only maybe change no you need one more change but instead of no i will say yes i will accept this partitioning because this is a virtual machine i am not worrying about breaking any stuff on my own computer so installing the base system why while it installs the base system let's have another look to the notas it says Okay, this is the first address you have to go and you have to crack this. But the username is not a zero, password is not a zero. Let's test it. Username not a zero, password not a zero. You hacked your first machine. Was easy, you may think. But this is a very practical hack in many places. There was a scene in the Hackers movie, the classic with Angelina Julie. There is a scene with Guilford in 
the Silicon Valley series. And there are lots and lots of other scenes. Even there was a real story of some police department somewhere giving an interview in the TV and on the, wall, on the background, you were seeing some whiteboard with a username and password of, a, of their web blog written on the board. This is very normal to find username and password somewhere visible. So we broke the first level. The second level always, you have to change this to the one. Username will be not as one. We have to find the password. I'm showing you just the first few simple levels while the system is being installed there. You can find the password for the next level on this page. I have already resolved this. So what I did first was looking around. It's not here. Checking this. It's not here. Scrolling. It's not here. Select all. So if something is written here with the same color, I would see it. It's not here. Then I would see the page source. View page source. Always it says it's HTML file. Obviously head is here. And it says the stuff in the header has nothing to do with the level. So just omit this. There is a title, not a zero. There is a division. You can find the password. Oh, there is a command. The password for not as one is this. Let's check it. I copied it. So I will go to the address not as one. We know that username is not as one. Password is this. We hacked the second step. Let's go for the third. Now it says you can find the password for the next level on this page, but right clicking has been blocked. The call is still installing, so I cannot do right click anymore. What a hacker do. Hackers know shortcuts. I can go from the menu, view the source, or I can use control U and it will show me the source. So again, I cracked it. Stuff in the header has nothing to do with the level. We'll never think about the header part. The body is here. And you can find the password is this. So we went to the next level. You see, it's not that difficult. It will get difficult and more difficult, but we are going good. So it says on level two, this is it. So I know not as two. This is the password. A new level. There is nothing on this page. I can right click. There is nothing on this page. What I will do is again, I will do the view source. What we have here, header has nothing to do. So I will start from here. H1 Natas, division content. There is nothing on this page. There is one image here file pixel png let's open it this is a one in one pixel a white pixel here see and it's located at where not as to not as labs over through slash files slash pixel dot png nothing more how we should crack this page and find the password for the next level I have already done it, but I won't do it. This is your practice. In this session, I'm just installing the base system for the, sorry, I'm just installing the Kali. Now I'm the base system part. It will take some time, especially because I'm installing it on my USB disk, which is slower than my SSD. But I think the best thing for you to learn is to go forward and Resolve this. I, I already resolve up to I think five or six or four. I cannot remember But maybe on the next session we will go up to ten I'm not sure if something is very difficult. It will take longer But my idea is going to the ten on the next video if you want to practice by yourself You can start the same thing go up to ten and See how you would do on the next video I will do the same or you can just wait and watch mine and get some ideas. But always, if you want to learn something, you have to do it. This is for this session, but I will continue the installation. Not to waste your time, I will pause the video. And when the installation 
is on this next step and we have to do something i will show it to you so please wait and bear with me okay after that we have this which is choosing which components we want to be installed desktop environment is needed on Kali you can it's possible not to install it but normally we always use it and it gives you three options on the desktops XFC, GNOME and KD KD and GNOME are more bloated if you can call them for a normal daily use they are very nice as you can see my main OS is running KD but for a virtual machine which just provides you some tools XFC is enough and many people prefer XFT, XFC which is much lighter less bling blinks and even for their main desktops collection of the tools top 10 the most 10 most popular tools okay default recommended tools okay large default selection plus additional tools i will go with the default most of the installations these days are default 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 next 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 are you sure yes let's wait this will take a long 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 time because it tells to two minutes but two minutes is the time to retrieve files and it's retrieving from the ISO but then one by one it will install it with the old Debian installer old school nowadays most of the time when you install a Linux it, it won't take more than 10 or 20 minutes at most because it just opens an image boots it and copy the booted image but now but in these old school installers like Debian's it will install packages one by one okay it gives you more selection but it will take much longer especially on a USB disk but let's wait no rush see you later when this uh, step is passed and it needs our intervention okay that part is finished now it wants to install the grub grub is the bootloader when a pc comes up it needs to load the kernel os and other stuff to be functional grub is a very small program which uh, facilitates this procedure so it says i want to install grub yes i want to where to install it the second time you have to change something and the first time you said okay i agree with changes at, on disk install the system now we are saying install grub here and i'll continue it will run the grub installer practically grub dash install is installing oh sorry grub yes grub dash install is installing the grub on the system then it will need to configure it with something like a grub update or something and afterwards i believe it should be ready to reboot and you can use your kali linux let's wait and see if it takes longer oh okay now it's running the update grub then it should do the last steps and then your kali linux is ready okay finishing the installation setting users and passwords okay i think it's better if i pause it not to speak nonsense while you are waiting and it's going fast running the package ah it's also running the virtual box guest utils i forgot to mention this uh, these utils will help your virtual box to communicate with the uh guest machine the kali we are installing the host machine is running virtual box in inside the virtual box you are running your guest machine this virtual box guest additions will help you do that it will help you for example copy paste the between two machines it will automatically let you change the screen size and then change the resolution of the host uh, guest machine and this kind of stuff is very useful and as you can see it's being installed by default so normally Kali believes that you are using it in a virtual box. I will leave you and we'll be back when this okay, is Okay, after some time, uh, the installation is finished. I will go to the continue, gathering information on mounting file system. That system is going to be rebooted. You know, this is a virtual machine. So only this virtual machine, this window will be rebooted. I will turn it off on this stage 
I'm just closing the window. It will ask if I want to turn it off, save the machine state or what. I will power off the machine. It's just like unplugging it, but it's rebooting. So no issue. What I want to do is do some configurations here. I will go to the settings. Here is a description of my machine. On the system, the motherboard processors, I will increase the processors to two. And also I will, I can, uh, the memory is fine. And the display, I will increase the display to, I don't know, 64 megabytes to make things easier, nicer. The audio network, you can have different networks. NAT means NAT, the connection of this virtual machine through the host operating system to whenever it's connected, normally the internet. I prefer to set it on bridge. Bridge means this, mach this virtual machine will have some kind of a virtual network card which gets its own IP, DHCP and everything from the router in my home. This way it will act just like a normal machine in my home network. This is a bridge connected to my wireless. I will define another bridge connected to my Ethernet. This way, even if I'm connected with the Ethernet cable, the, this one works. Okay. And now my system is ready. I can start it. As you know, this is a virtual machine. I now, in this window, I have a working, happy Kali Linux for my practices. While this is booting, I'll repeat this. As you remember, we were going to solve Nata's examples. I've solved up to two. And on the last page, this was the situation. There is nothing here. When we check the page source, the page source showed us one pixel file here loaded. So one in one white pixel, as we saw it here. And you have to figure out how you can find the password from this information. On the next video, I will try to resolve more and more of this. And remember, if you search the internet, you can find the answers. But directly seeing the answers won't help you. The hacking is like uh entering a house and for example searching for a key if someone directly goes to the i don't know bedroom searches beneath the bed on the left side and show you the key this is now how you will learn to find the key in a house normal step by step will take much much longer you will enter the house you will check the area you will check what can contain a key and this kind of stuff so please Practice yourself, try to solve up to, I don't know, step 10. And then I will upload my own video. And I will try to show you how I'm going to solve this, how to find this, where I will check. This, this way, you will understand the general mindset of a person who is trying to hack or do a penetration testing. So, this is my Kali, but still it's in a... text mode now it's moving to the graphical login this is why i gave it two cpus and four uh, gigabytes of ram to make it faster maybe i will do most of the things i want to work on just here and i think the first boot is slower we will give it some time To be honest, while it's booting, I have to tell my opinion that the graphical interface of Kali Linux is very nice. It's one of the most beautiful Linuxes I've seen. My username was user, my password was 123. Here you can always check the menus from the From here, machine, you can see different menus, sort, not here. 
Here, pause settings. Okay. I was looking for the menus which normally seen here. I always had this problem on the virtual box. Sometimes they are missing. Sometimes you can find them from other places like this one. Machine setting, close, tools, details, show log. And most of the times I just, now I know the shortcuts to make it much easier. The first put is slow, no problem. I was looking for that. Now we are in the scale mode. Whenever I increase the size, it will be resized to the new, it will be scaled. Under resize, the real resolution will change, which is much nicer. Also, you can turn on the copy, paste and other things. Wait, 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 wait. Now it's up and running. And you have the terminal, you have one browser here. You can go around, play with it a bit, little bit, especially if you are not on a Linux machine. It's fun to have a Linux virtual machine. <coughs> there is one key. Normally it's right control, I think, which is a escape key. So when you push it, you will be moved back to the original system or sometimes you can just push it with something as a, a shortcut for example control f i believe should be the full screen mode see when i go to the full screen the resolution is changed and it's much nicer most of the time i use this in a full screen mode on the first run it's slower then it will get better because i believe first time it's creating some indexes for the menus on the XFC level and such. Okay, anyway, you have your Kali, you can shut it down if you want and go practice the next levels. On the next video, I will try to go through 10. Okay, good luck. Shut down.